zero down mortgages are back. You can actually get paid to buy a home. Yeah, I know it's crazy, but it's true. In this video, I'm gonna share with you how you can get approved for a mortgage, 0% down, how you could buy your first home or maybe even your second home, maybe even become a real estate investor doing this thing. I'm gonna share with you all the secrets. Let's go. Noel. Yeah, she can fix that. If you gotta get it done, no, you need to do it better. Well, she can fix that. Yeah, she can fix that. Investment to get back, trying to get a big step. She can fix that. Let's fix that. I'm Noel Randall. I'm a real estate entrepreneur, a multimillionaire, an author, a speaker, a mom of five, and so much more. And I got rich investing in real estate. I started from the bottom, broke, bankrupt, bad credit, multiple foreclosures, living in my parents' basement. I literally started from the worst situation I could imagine, and today I'm a multimillionaire using real estate. So I firmly believe that real estate is the best way to become a millionaire. You literally have so many benefits that I'm gonna share with you in this video and I'm going to share with you how you can get started with 0% down, essentially 100% financing using a real loan. Real estate is considered the number one way to wealth because 89% of all millionaires have been created so through real estate. Additionally, many people and many groups have been left behind because there were laws and restrictions on how they could get approved for mortgages. So many people suggest that maybe, for example, the black community is um, you know, behind in the wealth disparity um, compared to white people and things like that because of home ownership. Essentially, if you are able to own a home, it creates a stable environment. You're able to have the equity in the home. In many cases, the home could pass down to the children. There's so many different benefits, but I'm going to tell you some other real benefits about owning a home that people do not think about. The first thing is equity. Whenever you buy a home, you actually will have some equity in the home because of appreciation, which I'll talk about in just a second. But let's think about it for a second. If you buy a home and you find like maybe a $200,000 starter home and you put down even just $10,000, that would be considered equity in the property. And then over time, the property is going to go up in value. That's number two, that's appreciation. So real estate offers equity and appreciation, which really helps people grow their wealth. Because you are paying down the mortgage and the mortgage balance is going down over time, you actually have this added benefit of the property itself going up in value over time, appreciation. So now that increases your equity. Equity is the difference between what you owe on a property and what the property is valued at. And in many cases, people have seen, you know, in cities like New York and Brooklyn and things like that, people have, you know, their parents have bought a home and they paid $30,000 for it. And now that same home is worth $750,000. So there's tons of equity that could pass to you generationally or whatever and create wealth for you. So real estate and having property is still the number one way to wealth and it does create many benefits, the major two being equity and appreciation. And then you could even add in cash flow because again, it is a piece of real estate. So once you have real estate, you can get a loan for another piece of real estate. You can turn that home, your first home into a rental property. And now you're actually building a portfolio of real estate. And in fact, most people's first rental property is the first home that they bought. Many people will buy a home, a starter home, maybe it's a smaller home, and then as they grow and they make more money, they'll buy another home and they turn that first home into a rental property. So now they have two pieces of real estate. And again, this can grow and grow depending on how you want to do it. So now we have this added benefit, this new thing that the Biden administration is proposing to Congress that I wanna to talk to you about on how you can start getting a home with 100% financing, essentially zero down mortgages. So very recently, the Biden administration has proposed that there will be a $10,000 tax credit for purchasing a home. Right now, home ownership, especially for millennials and Gen Y, is actually down. The baby boomers actually own most of the real estate in today's market, and they continue to hold most of the wealth in real estate and in their retirement accounts. 
it is actually very crazy how much disparity in wealth there is between the baby boomer generation and Gen X and the millennials. And so we really have to start thinking about why that is. The baby boomer era was actually buying homes using GI bills, using FHA loans, using VA loans, even USDA loans. In many cases, a USDA loan, which is a home, a mortgage that is available to you if you live in a rural area, and in many cases, it doesn't have to be very rural. A lot of times, it's just a further part of the suburbs of many major cities, like Atlanta, maybe you're in Jonesburg, Jonesboro, or Clayton County, for example, or maybe in the Orlando area, you're like maybe a little bit further out in Mount Dora or something to that effect. And so you don't necessarily have to be in this really rural area to qualify for a USDA loan, which is typically 100% financing. Additionally, if you are a veteran, you most likely are entitled to a VA loan, which also has 100% financing. And many people just are not taking advantage of these amazing benefits that are available to them. Additionally, we have FHA loans, which are backed by the government, you will still go to a normal lender, but you could apply for a FHA loan, which in most cases only requires 3.5% down. But let me tell you how you actually could use this tax credit and some down payment assistance programs to end up with 100% financing and get that home with 0%. Do you want to buy a home? Are you ready? Do you have questions? Go ahead and comment below and let's have a conversation. I am so interested in what you are doing and answering all of your questions on home ownership. I really believe in home ownership. I think it is the number one way to wealth. So let's have a conversation about it. Chat with me below and let me know your thoughts. We are currently in a situation where home affordability is at its lowest since 1984. It is abysmal how hard it is for people to get qualified for a loan. Many of the millennials and the Gen Xers and why there is a reason why they are not buying homes and baby boomers own all the homes is because of the student loan debts, for example, the different gig economies. Many of us are not working a stable W-2 job where we have the pay stubs and the tax returns that are required to get qualified. Well, I'm gonna share with you a way to still get a home if you do not have any W-2s, tax returns, or you know, two years of W-2 income. But I'm gonna tell you first, if you are someone that works a job, has stable income, has a W-2, how you can actually use a government loan and the down payment assistance and the $10,000 tax credit that's being proposed, it actually hasn't been approved yet, but most likely it will be approved and people are going to be able to get a $10,000 tax credit just for buying a home. The government wants to encourage and get people to buy homes because it does boost the economy. Home ownership again helps you personally because it creates stability and things like that. But for the government's perspective, obviously there's a lot of interest charge on mortgages, but there also is an economy, what we call an economic multiplier effect. So when you buy a home, you have to pay utilities, you get the internet, you buy furniture, your kids go to school, you buy a lawnmower, you start buying a lots of things. And so it actually creates lots of economic activity. And so it is one of the reasons that the US government is always incentivized and trying to get people to buy homes. And it usually is a problem when home ownership declines and when people stop buying homes. So let's get into the number one way that you can get a down payment assistant program and get this 100% financing. So down payment assistant programs have been around for very many years, but they just have not been utilized very much. So a down payment assistant program is where you get a grant or you get like a subsidized loan for your down payment, okay? These are programs, again, incentivized to get you to become a homeowner. They are usually only available to first time home buyers and to people buying a primary residence. This is not if you're trying to be a real estate investor and flip houses and things of that nature, but the great thing about it is in many cases, you can use it to buy more than one unit, meaning you can buy a single family home that is a duplex or a triplex or even a quadruplex. Again, one unit is just a single family home, a duplex has two units, a triplex has three, and a quadplex has four. So you literally could live in one of the units and rent the other ones out and still use a down payment assistance program, still use a government loan like a FHA loan, a VA loan, or even a conventional mortgage. And so the great thing about it is down payment assistance programs are available in almost 
every single state and they have been for many, many years. However, most people have not been applying for them or looking to buy a home. And in many cases, they've been underfunded where people open up the, the down payment assistant and all the money and all the funding has already been wiped out. In fact, there was actually a down payment assistant program that was launched in Nevada and the money ran out in 11 days. So you actually have to be keenly aware of these down payment assistance programs. Make sure you have alerts set up on your phone and go apply for them. But almost every single state has them and even many counties have them and they are usually in two forms. A down payment assistant could be just given to you as a grant and in return you will be given that money of course you at the closing it will go directly to the title company as your down payment but you will sign something agreeing that this is a primary residence and that you intend to stay in the home for a certain amount of years you won't just sell the home after you know six months typically you have to stay in the home three years five years something to that effect and then they will forgive the loan altogether or give you the grant. The second uh, down payment assistant is actually a loan. So it will actually be a loan to you that you don't have to make any payments on. You apply for it. It will be a loan that has no payments. And again, you are agreeing that you are going to live in the home. It's going to be a primary residence and the money will be given directly to the title company or the attorney at the closing. But again, many of these programs are completely unutilized and not being um, gone after or the people that go after them go after the immediately and they run out of funding. Another amazing way to get 100% financing is a program called NACA, N-A-C-A dot com. This is not a grant. It actually is a loan program that offers 100% financing and it actually offers where you don't have any PMI, which stands for private mortgage insurance. So in many cases, you will have a lower mortgage payment than you would if you use the down payment assistant program combined with a government loan like a FHA loan. So check out NACA.com and see if you could get qualified for one of those loans. Because again, primary residences, if you plan on living in the home, you can get 100% financing. And now let's get to this, how you're getting paid to buy this home. $10,000 tax credit. So the proposal that the Biden administration has um, proposed is that the buyer and the seller will be able to get a $10,000 tax credit. So what we are seeing in this market, as I said, home ownership is at one of the highest unaffordability levels that it's been since 1984. So in order to get a home, in many cases, if you're using a loan like NACA or if you're using a down payment assistance, a lot of times when the seller sees those offers, they do not choose those offers. They will choose an offer that's maybe a cash offer or an offer with someone that has, you know, they're putting 50% down, things of that nature. So even if you have these approvals, in many cases, you don't win the house. Well, with this tax credit, the seller would be incentivized to sell their home to a first time home buyer. So not only will you as the buyer get a $10,000 tax credit, the seller is actually getting a $10,000 tax credit as well. So now both parties are incentivized to buy homes and to sell homes. The thought with the Biden administration is that this will help people put their homes on the market because part of the reason that the homes are unaffordable is because there is low inventory. The supply is very low and the demand is very high. So if there's lots of people shopping for homes, then the prices will be very high if there's not a lot of supply, okay? So if there's a lot of demand and no supply, then prices are higher. And so this Biden administration has proposed where the seller gets a $10,000 credit for selling the home to a first time home buyer and the buyer who is a first time home buyer gets this $10,000 credit. And so now both parties are incentivized to buy a home. And so that is what I think you should do. Do you want to come to an event that I'm having where I'm teaching you not only this, but way more on how to start investing in real estate? Well, now is the time. Go to growyourwealthevent.com right now and get tickets to my event. This event is less than $100. This is a virtual event, okay? Held in July. Go to the page right now and you will see the exact date. It's an all day, a full day of training with me where I teach you how to fix your credit, how to get business credit, how to get business funding, how to buy properties with 100% financing, and most importantly, how to grow your wealth. You will leave this event with a full plan on how you can grow your 
your wealth and how you can take yourself to the next level and tickets are less than $100 and they're selling fast. Go to Grow Your Wealth event right now for this one day virtual event and if you miss that and you're watching this video after the event has happened, then you may be able to come to a live in-person event in Orlando. Go right now to growyourwealthevent.com right now, get your tickets, they're almost sold out because I just wanna make sure that you have all of the knowledge, all of the resources, and all of the tools that you need to be successful. This is Noelle, to your success.